Gareki, Rogue Mage, Druid, the classic, as well as the Ghostly Crew playing Jungle Cleave. So Whiskey switching off that Shadow Priest for Feral Druid. Let's see how he can perform. Chameleon invisibility right now, looking for some initial crowd control or damage. Goes for the Nova. Doesn't manage to pull Jelly Beans or Whiskey out just yet. Rosie's going to be patiently waiting in stealth. It seems to be Absurge is their target of choice. The Assassination Rogue going to be effective at taking down that Shaman. No, just going for the Cheap Shot 4. Jamelia to land that Polymorph. Unfortunately, gets Wind Sheared. Not going to be able to land it. Rosie throws a full blind on Absurge. Heatrin gets out. They want to continue this aggression over on a Jamili. Temporal Shield's going to be used. Iron Bark as well. Goes to Recruit. needs to wait out those cooldowns and they get some serious burst out. Yeah, most certainly. They make a swap to Rosie's. Nice play from the Ghost Recruit. Seeing Gorecki committed his defense to Jamili. They switch targets and go after a softer one. Huge burst on Roasties. Grecky had to split his healing up and spend a bit more mana than he otherwise would have. Roasty still getting trained down below half HP. You see Grecky caught in a bash. Can Jelly Beans snipe out the trap? We saw SSDS earlier on getting a lot of traps. Now as Jelly Beans doing the same. Grecky trinkets out. He's going to get aggressive, dashing into the fight for a stun on Absturge, looking for follow up. They managed to soak the interrupt on Jamili, so Grecky casted Cyclone at the same time. That way they were guaranteed crowd control on Absturge. They got the crowd control, but they don't do any damage, and Jamili is the one on the back foot having dice block that's that, that's devastation for the rejects yeah whiskey has a lot of off healing we see the exhilaration as well as the tank trigger for jelly beans that's why he's able to tank through all of that damage while absurd was in crowd control Jamelia in the meantime like you said had to use the ice block just use the cold snap has one more ice block available but after that he's going to be very squishy i don't think he's using the tank trinket so that he is an excellent target for the ghost crew to go after in this matchup i mean the only disadvantage right now for the ghost crew is Absurge's mana bar already below 50 percent but their momentum has been absolutely insane with both Jamili and Roasties hovering at about 50% HP. Gorecki seems to be struggling just to heal through the raw pressure of this composition, let alone when he's caught into a freezing trap. The next freezing trap could even end the game. Roasties has no significant defensives to survive an attack. Gorecki charging in, trying to get something started for his team. Stunning up after Jamili blinks in, both members casting crowd control, but they didn't stop their casts, and they both overlapped. That's a huge uh, crowd control overlap from the rejects. Now Jelly Beans is starting to get aggressive of securing a freezing trap. Leage! <laughs> okay, Whiskey. Okay, Whiskey. Calm down. Calm down. Jamili's almost dead. Calm down, Whiskey. But next freezing trap, this game could easily be over. Yeah, no ice block available for quite some time. Four minutes on that timer. Jamili going to be very vulnerable here. Rosie's rotting down as well. Iron Bark available for Gorecki. This is full blind on Abs. So he's not going to actually sit this one. Trinket's out a little bit late. Wants to keep Whiskey alive after the kidney shot was committed by Roasties. He knows after not going to be able to get swapped to with the kidney shot on the Whiskey. There's a full polymorph, though, nicely done by Jamili and the Rejects. Full trap on Gorecki. Jamili's going to be in a lot of trouble here. Roasties playing a solid defense. And he gets smoked by Whiskey in the meantime. Big burst coming in from the Ghost Ukraine. Oh, that's a jungle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Welcome the to the jungle. Yeah, welcome to the jungle. Well, this is catching up with that big 200 point gap there. Yeah, one thing that kind of disappoints me about the Rejects, too, is they didn't really utilize all the tools available to them. With the Dwarf, it's going to be a lot more tankiness. You can actually remove all the bleeds from Jelly Beans and Wiz K in the matchup. So the Rejects had, you know, maybe changed up the just the races that they were playing. It could give them a big oh, advantage in the matchup. They're trying to catch Gorecki off guard by starting their initial attack on him. It seems like he was ready for it. He's not dipping too dangerously low from this initial attack. Trading Barkskin is perfectly fine for the cooldowns that the Ghost of Crew have already committed. So good presence of mind of Gorecki. Not really falling too far behind. Jamili has decided to activate Incarnation almost kind of randomly. Nobody in his line of sight. He's going to have to go after Jelly Beans trying to pick him off. Absturge already used his trinket likely on blind from Roasty. So I would like to see Roasty's switch to Absturge. Shadow Step, Kidney Shot, Absturge is no trinket. 100 Owen with Vendetta. If Roasty's doesn't see that opening, I feel like it's a big opportunity that he's going to miss. Yeah, Absturge doing a good job just line of sighting though, you know, with WizK in the Cyclone. Jamili doesn't really have a target that he can hit. Jelly Beans, WizK going to be moving up. There's a Kidney Shot on WizK. Nice CC coming from Jamili. You can see him dashing across the map, trying to land the bash onto Absurge. Can he get the Cyclone? Manages to get it. Now WizK could be in some trouble. Trouble, trying to kite away with the thorns with the earth shield trying to stabilize but it just doesn't seem like the rejects has the damage they need to take jelly beans oh it was k down i mean the other thing is a survival hunter you have mending bandage which removes bleeds and what is an assassination rogue it's all bleeds so you can just delete roasty's damage from the game when you use that mending bandage i don't think the assassination is the best pick here i almost want to see roasty's play outlaw instead if we move into another game the survival's just a soft counter there's the swap on abstergs but they didn't save vendetta for it 
Abstridge could be just deleted right now. He dipped really low there. If they just held Vendetta for that, I almost think Abstridge is just gone. Yeah, Rossi's did commit his vanish there as well. They could take the road on Abstridge. He got cloned, so maybe a little bit of a miscommunication there from the rejects. But they do have good pressure. Jellybean's rotting down. Still has the aspect of the turtle. Gorecki actually taking a lot of pressure from WizK right now as they seem to turn their attention onto him. He's trying to get away. There's a kitty shot on WizK. Rossi's doing a good job peeling, putting on a lot of pressure. Abstridge in a good spot, though. Good position to keep his team alive. Earthen Shield Totem's going to be dropped. Just going to line of sight, try to get a reset here, top everyone off, and then they can make their move once again. It just seems like the Gosu crew are more prepared for this tournament than the Rejects. I want to see them clean it up, get that trick it up line, then go for the Vendetta swap. That's definitely an easy win condition for the Rejects. You want to go after the targets that don't have trinkets. So right now, going after WizK, that's a good target. He doesn't have a trinket. Good crowd control from Jamili. This is a nice setup from the Rejects. They need to back it up with damage, but unfortunately, Jelly Bean slowed it down enough for WizK to survive that chain quite easily. Now that they've slowed it down, they're trying to switch their attention to Gorecki. They need to be a little bit careful. Jellybean's taking a brunt of that exchange from Jamili, but the tank trick and absorb going to be more than enough for him to survive. Rosti's falling slightly behind. Mana completely in favor of the Gosu crew. So moving into the late game, they've got the advantage. It's up to Rosti's to find that avenue of victory. If they don't do that, they're going to lose the attrition war. Yeah, they need to pull some cooldowns out from Absurge. Managed to do so, and Rosti's has the vendetta coming up. Jamili has his incarnation coming up, so that's an opportunity for the rejects to take it advantage of the fact that Abstridge already used that healing cooldown to top off his team. Jamili throwing out some regrowth. That's some of the additional support that Amunkin has. He has the Cyclones as well as some off healing that the mage doesn't really provide. Been able to stabilize, but Gorecki in a lot of trouble. He actually trinkets out. Still taking quite a bit of burst from Jellybeans and WizK. He's trying to get away right now. Roasty's all over WizK and Jellybeans as they do line aside Abstridge a little bit. Nice Cyclones coming in from Jamili as well. There's a bash over on Abstridge. Roasty could be in some trouble. Jamili rotting down as well. Good pressure coming in from the rejects. Okay. No trick on Amsterdam, no trinket on Wizk. Vendetta is available. Uh, it's either a Shadow Step, Kidney, Amsterdam, kill him under no with the clone on Wizk. There's the clone. Are they going to swap? No, they're not, not going to do anything with the clone, and that's going to put them a bit behind. They're going after Jelly Beans, who has Trinket and Turtle. Going after Jelly Beans in this position, not the right move, unless they're trying to bait a cooldown. They've managed to bait Earth Shield on him, which could leave an opening. I really just want to see a Shadow Step Kidney and delete Absturge. I feel like that's their easiest way to victory in this position. Now we see a Shadow Step back, trying to eat the trap potentially there on Gorecki, but not able to get there in time. They're still going after Jelly Beans, which now I guess is a viable target with no Trinket, but Roasties needs to do something quick. Gorecki's almost tapped on you know, they need to make some something happen. Like you said, J Jellybean's taking a little bit of pressure. He's all over WizK, though. Uh, Roasty's going to be vanishing out. Gets flared out there by Jellybean's. Nicely done. Jamili lines full cyclone on Absurge. This is the final go, potentially on to Jellybean's. Roasty still hasn't committed the Vendetta, though, so he's been holding on to that cooldown for quite some time. Maybe looking for that swap over on Absurge at some point. Grecky gets trapped up. Pre Ironbark, though. Nicely done by him onto Roasty's, keeping him alive. Kitty shot on WizK. WizK taking a whole bunch of bursts from Jamili and Roasty's. Caps on on Gorecki as Roasty gets lower and lower. Doesn't really have too much. Faint comes out to reduce some of the incoming damage. Gorecki finally out of crowd control. It'll pick up Roasty's very, very quickly. Ducking behind the pillar as the rejects are trying to retreat away. Absurd is trying to push forward and end this, but he does get cycloned up. Good play from Jamili. Jellybean's tank trinket going to be procking. He's just going all in on Gorecki. They're attacking into thorns. That's a double-edged sword. You attack into that, you also take some damage back, and that's kind of risky when you're already so low, but Mending Bandage going to remove all those bleeds, make it difficult for Roasties to ramp his damage. He's also very low on energy. He's not going to be able to ramp at all. This is going to put his momentum way down and allow them to play so aggressively. Absurd standing right on top of Gorecki, maybe even potentially purging in what could be the final moments of this game. Full blind, Absurge trinkets. Whiskey gets stunned up, but he pre-survival instincts. That was going to reduce a lot of damage on the stun. Will it be enough? Tank trinket absorb also going to soften the blows. Suddenly, Absurge's aggressive plays, though, have put him behind on mana. We've just started into dampening, and both teams are tapped. Yeah, Gorecki has no trinket. Luckily, Rossi still has the evasion available if he needs it. Absurge actually sitting down to drink. This is so huge in the matchup. Jamili shuts it down, but Absurge got a decent amount of mana there. Now, actually ahead of Gorecki in this match, dampening at 6%. Absurge is going to be dropping that Earthen Shield Totem to reduce some of this damage from Jamili and Roasties. Roasties still an excellent target here for the Gosu crew. Gorecki getting fully trapped up. Roasties just look at him. He's just running away, trying to avoid the damage. Uses the feint. Nicely done on that stun. That's going to be 30% damage reduction for him, but they don't care. They're going through a kidney shot now on WizK, though. Full Cyclone on the Absurd. The Reject looking to turn around the pressure on the WizK. Can he survive? The tank trink trinket is going to proc. Gets a heal on himself as well, and he manages to stabilize. That's perfect to get the Absorb right there. They have an opening. There's no trinkets on 
anyone on Gosu crew. That's great win condition for the rejects. Wizke has no cooldowns either to trade. They've got great momentum, and suddenly this game is completely in favor of the rejects, and they might just be able to walk away if, with it despite being behind for the better part of five minutes. Jellybean's cloned at low health. That's going to stress Absurge. He's got Ascendance up. That's his big healing cooldown. He wants to heal, but he can't into the Cyclone. Wizke caught in the kidney shot. Vendetta available. Rosie's going to pull the trigger right away. They've got a massive win condition, but no crowd control on Absurge. Absurge denies the Cyclone. Great uh, interrupt there from Absurge. That Cyclone could have closed the game, but he had the presence of mind to make sure that he interrupted it so he could keep Wizke alive during that stun lock. Yeah, they make a swap on a Gorecki. He uses the bark skin, uses the dash. He is gone. Run, kitty, run. Jellybean's still stuck there, though. Rosie's all over him on that assassination rogue, putting out tons of consistent damage. Jamili looking for some crowd control onto Absurge and just snared out of line of sight, unfortunately. Wizke, Jellybean's all rotting down right now. Absurge really doesn't have too much. Trinket's going to be coming up in around five seconds. Still has a Spirit Link totem, so that is a saving grace for the Gosu crew as we move deeper and deeper into dampening. All right, another kidney shot on Wizke. This is a very scary moment for the team of the Gosu crew. Absurd just trying to stabilize, doing a good job trading that earthen wall totem that will allow him to recover through the stunlock. Roasty's now on the back foot, potentially having to trade his trinket as Gorecki is almost completely tapped. I can't even see a sliver of blue on that bar below his health. Everybody rotting down as dampening starts to mount up and up. I'm starting to think that there might be cross kill potential in this game. Yeah, it definitely could be. Roasty still has the vanish and the evasion, so that's going to make him durable. Putting out good pressure on the Absurge now. Looks like the Reject changing their strategy. Just trying to rot everyone down with the Assassination Rogue and the Boomkin. Can be very effective. Gorecki looking for a bash on Absurge. Does he have the follow-up clone? Goes for it. Fortunately, doesn't manage to find it. So Absurge gets out of the CC. Able to stabilize his team. Tank Cricket rocking for both Wiz K and Jelly Beans here. Now Rosies could be in some trouble. No evasion is going to be available. Wiz K unfortunately doesn't have that incarnation for quite some time. But at dampening this high, Gorecki so low on mana. It is so scary for the Rejects. If you don't know what a cross kill means it means when one player on each team dies at the same time and it goes down to two players versus two players sometimes even one player versus one player it's a very rare occasion and quite an interesting thing to watch and this is a game that definitely has that potential with both healers completely tapped on mana defensive cooldowns starting to drain a full trap secured but absurd is low both teams could be in danger in this position. Jellybeans is trying to soften up the damage on himself and gun down for Roasties. Good crowd control on Gorecki. Roasties is forced to trinket. Now that is out of the way. The only person left in this game with a trinket is Jamili, but he's not even the target. Roasties is falling more behind. Defensive blind on Whiskey to buy time for Roasties to live. Everyone in crowd control. Roasties hangs on by a thread. They need to hold on just a little bit longer. Gorecki has the iron bark. He needs to be more tanky. They take him down right before it comes available for Gorecki. The Ghost Soup crew goes up 2-0 to zero in this series with some nice plays. My goodness, and that one's gonna look 3-0. Curious if Jamili is going to play Typhoon on this map. It's a knockback effect that could be super effective or where they're going to play it out. I mean, we can already see this map is massive. There's multiple different areas to play. You can play at the big pillar down in the middle, play in the starting rooms, or play up on this balcony. And it seems like the fight is going to be starting to stop at the top of the staircase. Yeah, Gorecki taking a position up top. Like you said, he's going to be jumping down, though, uh, just trying to kite away from this initial pressure coming in from Jelly Beans and Wiz K. Wiz K trying to chase him down. Nice Typhoon, though, coming in, or Vortex coming in from Jamili there, allowing Gorecki a little bit more time to run away, but he's all by himself now. This can jelly beans all over him doing so much damage, forcing out the bark skin and the iron bark on a Gorecki now caught into the full bash. Well, that Iron Bark, I don't think he's going to have to trick it, but he's falling behind quickly. I mean, when you're up two points in the series, you can always do an all-in strategy and try and just squeak out an early kill and walk away with the rest of it. I don't blame them for taking a risky option like this, and now they're going to mix it up. And that's the one thing about the Ghost of Crew is that they never stick to one strategy for too long. They always keep their opponents on their toes. They started with all-out aggression on Gorecki. Now they're crowd-controlling him and going after a different target. After that's over, they switch back to him, and they're really keeping him on his toes. This is going to be tough for Gorecki. Yeah, Gorecki getting lower and lower. At Absurge there to throw out some purges. Tries to get out of line of sight. Whiskey oh, there. Jelly Beans there. Oh, and those are the fights we are talking about. Oh. Whiskey coming in clutch.